Elm Video Technologies DMX merger is a reliable and proven design that is controlling shows around the globe. Our multi-mode merger, combines two or more inputs, that easily integrates with DMX-controlled equipment for any level show. There are several merge modes to choose from. HTP, which is highest takes precedence. Backup, or override. LTP, or latest takes precedence. LTPC, or latest takes precedence by channel. Append. And the LOTP, or lowest takes precedence. To show the merge modes, Elm Video Technologies DMG2 by 1, a 2 input, 1 output merger, is demonstrated. Our merger line of products will process all 512 channels. To simplify, 4 channels are demonstrated. A console is connected to input A, of the merger, and a second console is connected to input B. The output is a combination of the two DMX universes merged into one DMX universe, that then connects to a daisy chain of equipment such as fixtures and moving heads. To show the merged output, a four-channel bar graph is shown to demonstrate the DMX output levels of each channel. The HTP, or Highest Takes Precedence mode, will merge two or more universes into one universe by sending the highest level of each individual channel. For example, with two inputs merged in the HTP mode, if input A, channel 1 increases from 0 to a level of 25, and input B is 0, then the output level increases to 25. If input B, channel 1, then increases to a level of 150, the output will increase from 25 to 150. As shown, if any channel, on either input, increases, or decreases, the output level is the highest level of any input. The backup, or override mode, will send input A, continuously, ignoring input B, as long as input A, is a valid DMX signal. If input A's signal is lost or fails, the merger will automatically switch to input B, after one second. If input A, is restored, then the merger will immediately switch back to input A. This mode is useful for several scenarios, including having a DMX wall switch controller, or backup lighting board, connected to input B. If input A, is turned off or disconnected, then input B, is then active. In the LTP mode, or, latest takes precedence, only one of the inputs is active at any time. The last or latest DMX level change on any channel of A, or B input will be switched to and sent to the output. For example, if console A is precedent, having had the latest changes, then input B is ignored. If input B has any DMX channel level change, up or down, then the merger will switch over to input B, and will then be the output ignoring input A. Then if console A, were to change as shown, then the merger will switch to input A. All 512 channels of A's DMX universe will now be sent to the output, ignoring input B. Please note that the input sources would need to be stable or digitally controlled, otherwise unwanted switching may occur as any DMX level change would initiate a switch. The LTPC, or latest takes precedence by channel mode, is similar to the LTP mode, but changes only on a channel level basis. The latest channel level change on an input, will then be sent to the output, only on that respective channel. For example, with the levels on both consoles as shown, and console B channel 1, changes from 100 to 101, then the merger will detect the change, and channel 1, will switch from 10, to the new, B input level, of 101. All other channels are unchanged. As shown, each channel, of either input, will take precedence if any respective channel change is made. This mode is useful if only channel level control is needed, from any DMX control source or location, including wall switch controllers. Please note that the input sources would need to be stable or digitally controlled, otherwise unwanted switching may occur as any DMX level change would initiate a switch. In the append mode, input A, is appended by input B, 
each using a block or portion of the universe. In this mode, the DMX channels are split into two parts of the same universe, allowing two controllers to control separate devices. The portion size is user programmable. For example, if the merger is set in the append mode, and the append size is set to 256, then input A, controls DMX channels 1 through 256. And input B controls DMX channels 257, through the remaining channels up to 512. The append mode could be used to allow two DMX controllers, to control different fixtures, zones, or parts of an event, while using the same cable or universe. The LOTP, or Lowest Takes Precedence mode, will merge two universes into one universe, by sending the lowest level of each individual channel. In the LOTP mode, if input A, channel 1, increases from 0 to a level of 125, and input B is 0, then the output is 0. If input B, channel 1, then increases to a level of 150, then the output will increase from 0 to 125, and holds at the lowest value. One use of the LOTP mode, would be to have a controller that sets a level cap per channel, so that only a preset level can be reached. For example, if all four channels of input B, are set as shown, then input A's respective channels can't exceed these values. As the channels on input A, increase as shown, the output of those channels will not exceed the preset values of input B. With the versatility of our merger functionality, several DMG units or circuits, can be combined together to merge additional inputs, and merge with multiple modes and functions. For example, two DMGs can be configured to merge multiple universes into one using the LTP mode. The combined outputs could then be merged with another unit in the HTP mode. And that output, could then merge with the other input that is in the override mode. That input could be a main show controller, when it is activated, it will override all the other inputs and take control of the DMX output. For the latest information on our products visit us online at elmvideotechnology.com, or contact us for any custom designs.